if you are new to the channel and want to see more videos like this, then please hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you and enjoy the video. Hello and welcome back to Coins and More UK. Now then, if you watched my previous video, you would have seen that I went up in a relative's loft and I discovered an absolutely incredible coin haul. Now since filming that video, I've actually been back up there and discovered a lot more. A lot more coins and even some banknotes this time. So along with that and some other bits and bobs that friends and my next door neighbour have sent me in this week, I've got some really cool things to show you. Okay, so quickly before I get on with the coins, I just want to quickly mention again that I've got a giveaway running over on my channel right now. The prize is this, it is an A to Z 10p coin set and album 2018 set and all the coins inside are totally uncirculated. I shall quickly show you just there and if you want to be in with a chance of winning this fantastic prize all you've got to do is watch my giveaway video which I will link above just there and follow the simple instructions. I've had such an amazing response so far and I've had so much fun answering all of your questions. You've still got a few days left yet to get your entries in and all that's left for me to say on this is good luck and I'm really looking forward to announcing the winner. Okay so a quick little recap of what we discovered in the last video. Now I showed you all things like this, so the Jubilee crowns, we had a few of these, we had things like Britain's first decimal coins just there and a old English banknote and along with it we had an absolute ton of these uh, Charles and Diana commemorative coins there was about 80 of these all together and that's that I've had to put it all in this shoe box because all this lot didn't fit in that tartan tin that I showed you in the first video and on the recommendations from Caledonian coins I've used that tartan tin for shortbread happy days but if you did want to see my first coin haul up the loft, just head over and check my last video out and all the coins that I discovered are featured in much more detail. Okay, so now I really don't know where to start because there is quite a few coins. Hopefully I won't bore you to death. Hopefully some of these coins will really interest you. But I'm going to start over here with some individual coins. Okay, so some of the territory coins that I came across um, with the second tin were things like this. So we had this... Viking Longboat, 1980, Isle of Man, it's worth noting all of these are larger 50 pence pieces, but really really nice designs, we've got the uh, Isle of Man TT, just there, it is a shame this is a smaller 1997 version, if it was the larger size I'll, I would be on holiday by now, but still a really nice design, and then we've got another like Viking Longboat. I say Viking. I'm just going to say Longboat. I'm not quite sure if it's Viking or not. But another really nice Isle of Man 50 pence piece. 1976 that one. Okay, next up we've got Candy Tuft. A really nice 1988 Gibraltar 50 pence piece. I've got like this, old, uh, this old Irish coin as well, 1981, 50p, really nice, nice little harp on there, do enjoy that coin, and then we've got this lovely jersey, 3 lion, 1969, 50 new pence coin, and they're all in really good condition, stunning 50p designs just there. And some of these that caught my eye as well. So we've got this like five pence piece, which is some sort of a gopher. I'm not quite sure if this is part of a coin set or a series, but as you can just see there, if uh, zoom allows. Yeah, we've got someone playing golf just there. Really nice coin. And then uh, this one also caught my eye as well. So this is a uh, 20 pence piece. And it's Gibraltar 2004, and it is, if I can pronounce it right, a uh, Neanderthal. 
and I believe I've been told this is part of a, a coin series. There is other 20 pence pieces to go with this one to make a set. I could be right or I could be wrong, but yeah, if you can let me know in the comments below, that'd be fantastic. But from what I've uh, read so far, this, this is quite rare. And this one as well, uh, a lovely stunning 10 pence piece with some sort of a, like a horse or a, uh, is it a horse or is it a stag? It looks to me like some sort of like mythical creature. But it's an absolutely stunning 1985 Isle of Man 10 pence piece. Just look at that design. Now also in this tin was a couple of token coin sets. Now this first lot, um, I assume, is to celebrate the England World Cup squad at Mexico in 1970. Esso, I recognise that brand, the petrol stations. And on each side, we've got a member of the old England football team. Now I never followed football back then, and I still don't follow football too much today, so I have no clue who all these players are. But if you have got any idea about what these are, please let me know in the comments section below. But there's a whole bunch of these, and yeah, I've enjoyed looking through them. Some good coins there. And then secondly, we've got these, which are a bit more heavier. But again, more football-related coins. Okay, so let's see if we can zoom in. So on here, we've got good old Manchester City FC. And yeah, okay, so we've got FA Cup Centenary there. And just some like match details on the back just there. But on the front of each of these coins is a club and the club logo as well. So we've got West Bromwich Albion. I'll show you a couple more. Uh, who have we got here? Is that Huddersfield? Yep, Huddersfield Town. And then this last one, good old Chelsea Football Club. I'm a Manchester United supporter, so it's a shame I didn't pick that one out of these coins. But there we go, Chelsea Football Club. And there's a whole bunch of these, and I believe there's nearly a whole set just there. This set's just missing a couple of coins, unfortunately. But again, some really nice, fascinating coins. And if you've got any information on what I've just shown you, please let me know in the comments below. Now, what I've got to show you next is possibly what I've been most excited about, and it's these, a whole bunch of banknotes from around the world. Now, I've had such a fantastic time looking through all these and preserving them in these little note wallets, and bear in mind that all I've done is collect coins for the past couple of years. It's just been fantastic to get these notes and just have a really good rummage through them and learn something new. Okay, so I'll quickly run through these front and back. So here we have a Central Bank of Nigeria. So 1,000 dinera. I've, I've pronounced that wrong, I know I have. <laughs> yeah, how cool is that? Central Bank of Nigeria. So that's that first one. Again, one we're all familiar with is a dollar. United States of America. This one's actually quite good condition. Now this one, I thought this was fake at first, it might still be fake, but it's a one cent from the government of Hong Kong. But there's, there's nothing on the other side, so I'm not quite sure if this is like real money or not, but I'll still put it in this coin wallet as a little keepsake. Next up we've got another dollar note from the United States of America. This one's a little bit more beat up. Could be older i'm not quite sure but i will have a really good sort through all these notes soon but yeah how cool another dollar okay next up we've got this one so we've got india uh, reserve bank of india five rupees really pretty note okay and then another little note Okay, so I'm not quite sure where this one's from. Is it Chinese or Taiwan? 
If you know, let me know in the comment section below. But again, another really nice note. And these are some, some of my favourites. Here we have Saddam Hussein. <laughs> yeah, central back of Iraq. The old tyrant, Saddam Hussein. And then another one, Saddam Hussein again. Another Iraqi note. 10 dinars. You won't see him featured on any more banknotes, I can tell you that much. Again, another Iraqi note. 5 dinars this time. And again, another Saddam Hussein. Another 5 dinars. Central back of Iraq. And another one, Saddam Hussein. Again, Central Bank of Iraq. And we've got 25 dinars this time. Horrible man, but yeah, still really cool notes. Okay, next up. This one, so. I'm not quite sure where this one's from. Romania, is it? I'm only guessing by the name just there. That's 10,000 something. Again, I'm new to this. But I think this one's one of them new poly notes. Yeah, so this is one of them new um, plasticky type notes. But again, really pretty. Here we've got a nice Indonesian banknote. Just there, Bank of Indonesia. Really cool. Okay, we've got this one. Is this Korean? A Korean note. I could be wrong. But yeah, they are really cool designs. I mean, look at that portrait on the back. Really, really nice. And next up, we've got another lovely Egypt note. One pound. Some really nice designs on the back again. One pound, Egypt. Okay, now another really fancy note. This one's possibly the newest one I've got. Again, it's another one of them plasticky notes. I'm not sure where this one's from, but if you can let me know in the comments below again, that'd be fantastic. Really cool. Okay, this uh, an old uh, Belgium note, is it? Oops, I think it says Frank on it. Franks, 50 francs, I believe. Really nice design. Be nice to have a couple of fifty pound notes. Yeah, 50, 50 francs. Belgium. Okay, next up. Another one of these. Really cool designs. The horse. The horses. Or the where uh, warriors. Yeah, cool notes. And again, another one of these. And the same design on the back. Really nice designs. Another Indonesian note. Some sort of dam. Really cool. Really cool notes. Okay, and uh, is this Turkish? Let's have a look at the back, see if there's any indication. A thousand something. Really nice notes. And we've got the uh, portraits on the back just there. Yeah, these are really cool. I've had such fun looking through these. But I'm new to notes, so I'm not quite sure what some of these are. But you've got Bank of Indonesia again. These are quite easy to guess. Is that Rupiah? 500 Rupiah? Could be totally off the ball just there. Okay, we've got another one of these again. And next up, we've got this one. Is that Crooney? Two Crooney or Cax Crooney? I have no idea where this one's from either. I'm useless. But yeah, he's, he's scary. He scares me. 
but again lovely designs and then the last note we've got is another central bank of Iraq but there's no Saddam Hussein on this one now was, was this note made after he was caught and, and killed I'm not quite sure but it is a really nice note and there we have it there there are some of the notes that I came across if you've got any information on any of them please let me know in the comments below it will really help me out but let's move on now as you saw in the last video all the coins that I discovered came in a tartan shortbread tin this lot came <laughs> in a Gillian seashells tin now I'll open this up and I'll explain that this was literally full to the top before I started sorting through all these coins now what's left in here is like all individual coins where it's, if, I, if I was to store them I'd need like two or three hundred different tubs whereas the ones I'll show you next have managed to bunch them all up and sort them into really nice groups but things that are left in here are things like Ghana coins We've got things like uh, five shillings from Kenya. And, and coin, coins like this, Rupia, where I'm not quite sure how to uh, store these yet and what to store them with. But there's literally loads of different coins left in here. Like Portuguese coins as well. I've not sorted these out yet. one cent from Malta there is quite a few lovely Malta coins in here but like this you know we've got quite a few duplicates as well five shillings from Kenya yeah, there's a couple of them in there one dollar some really nice designs and like I say, this one's from Barbados, and this is the only Barbados coin that I've got in here. But still, a, a really stunning collection of coins, and for the time being, they're going to be kept in this tin. Like I say, they're all just individual coins, and I can't really do nothing with them yet until I've got a better storage solution for them. So yeah, I'll whack the lid back on there, and I shall show you what I've done with the rest of the coins that was in this tin. To my relief, I did manage to store a lot of them coins from that tin into tubs. Now, I'm going to quickly zoom over with my camera and show you kind of what I've done. So, as you can see there, we've got multiple coins in different tubs. And that's what I'm going to bring across to show you in a minute. And that's really my storage solution for the sheer amount of coins that I've come across last week. So, we'll start off with this one just here. Okay, and this one we've got coins from New Zealand. Nineteen eighty-seven, the year I was born. So that's that one. New Zealand coins. Okay, and this next one. I think these are all coins from the Netherlands. Okay, here we go. Yep. Yeah. Netherlands. These are the Italian coins, Leras. Okay, this one, this one's quite heavy. Okay, and this one we have got. Okay, all the old Belgian francs. Plenty of them, lots and lots of them. Okay, 
And this one, another heavy one. Okay, oh yeah, my friend. These are all the centimes. Always a popular coin. The amount of uh, date runs I could do with all this lot would be unbelievable. There we go, lots of centimes in there. In the next box, we've got these. Let's have a look. I've not labelled the boxes yet. I will get around to doing it. Okay, so all these are like shillings. Shillings. And like three three pences. There we go, look. Oops. Zoom. And some more shillings. Yeah, let's have a little look. So there we go, yep, shillings and three pences and stuff like that in there. Next. Now these are all the coins with holes in them. <laughs> That's basically what this box is. Any coins with holes in them or just any coins that are like funny shapes basically. African coins and such. Okay, this one we have got. There we go. All the coins from Canada. I really enjoy these coins. These stunning designs. Oops, another one there. Sense on another really nice Canada coin from 1957. Canada, we're getting there, not many to go now. This one, okay, these are all the Eurovals. One Euroval just there. Some really nice designs. Andy from Coin Cupboard, if you want any of these mate, just give us a shout over Instagram and I shall send you any of these coins over free mate. Just let us know if you want any mate, or any more pictures. That's yeah, a little selection of Euro coins that I've got. And next up, another tub. this one we have got these are all my Australian coins just there as well and in this next box we have got there's a haul of the Territory coins that I came by. Okay, let's hope this zooms in. I'm just going to show you a couple because on this box alone, I'm going to do a totally separate video. But again, we've got another candy tuft just there, and just loads of gorgeous territory coins from Jersey and uh, Gibraltar and Guernsey. Just a really good selection of coins. Again, three lions, 1980, and the ten new pence. And yeah, there's there's some of the really good territory coins that I came by when I went through that second tin. But yeah, I'm going to do a separate video on these, so we're uh, keeping out for that one. Okay. What have we got in here? Okay. Now these one is. These are all the Irish coins that I found. 1974. Irish 2002. 20 euro or 20 cents. I've seen a lot of these Irish coins with the old bull. 1954. 
in 1976. So there, 2p. And again, some really nice designs on there. And along with the territory coins, I'll do a separate video on these as well. Okay, we're nearly done. Only a few more tubs to go. Okay, these ones, right, these are all my old pennies. I'll show you some of these, some of the really old pennies that I found. 1935, 1967. Some of these older ones, so we can see the dates. 1966. And that's really beat up. 1920. And we've got some old, uh, old half new pennies. Just there. And again, yeah, just some, yep, yeah, loads of old pennies, 1963. 1967. Yeah, just loads and loads of old pennies and uh, half pennies and farthings in there as well. It's funny how they're all different colours. That's that one, yeah. Old pennies and half pennies in that one. Okay, next up, let me just put that up there. Okay, next up we've got okay, this one is uh, these are all old UK coins or big coins. Things like 10 new pence, these are the old style 10p coins which were much larger. It's like 1975 just there. Got the old original round pound. 1983 this one was. And it's in really good condition. I should really put that in a wallet to be fair. Old two new pences. And we've got like uh, things like five pence. These are really big. 1988. And there we have it. These are like, yeah, all the uh, old, old style 10p coins, 5p coins. And more, yeah, all the old bigger coins in there, all UK as well. Okay, got a few, couple more tubs to go, and then we're done. Okay, this one is the heaviest one. I think I already know what's in here from when I was sorting through all these coins. Two potatoes. Yeah, all potatoes. Loads and loads of them. All in there. Loads. Lots and lots of them. Okay. okay, and this one. Here we have all the old French francs. See just there again. From 1979, that one. And there we go. All the old French francs. This one. Surprisingly hard to open. Right, and this one is like all the all the trapmas. All the Greek Greek coins that I discovered. Ten drachma. Yeah. Me on it here, zoom in. But yeah, I'm sure a lot of you have seen these already. There's a nice little selection of uh, yeah Greek drachmas in there. That's that one. And the last box. This is the last tub. I assure you, you've done well to sit through this lot. And these are all the. American coins. Now a lot of these are state state quarters, but like West Virginia there, for example. And here, 
again, another nice uh, quarter. 1980. And then we've just got things like one cent. However, a lovely selection of uh, coins from the good old US of A. And that's the last tub. So you can kind of see what I'm trying to do there. It's just a nice easy way for me to try and keep track of uh, what coins I'm collecting and what countries I'm collecting from as well. I will get them boxes labelled up ASAP. But as for now, I mean, I've, I've been sorting out all these coins for the past couple of days. It's totally knackered me out. My eyes are absolutely stinging. But I've tried my best to get all them sorted out. You know, just really to try and make a video and just to get my collection up to scratch because it's just been driving me mad having all these coins laid about. I like to have my collection organised and this is the only way I could do it. Now, moving on to the last few bits that I've got to show you this week. And uh, starting off with this one, which is a Leonardo Ninja Turtles token coin. My son's called Leo, so I'm going to keep hold of this in my collection. Really cool design. And there we are, on the, there it says Cowabunga. Really cool, I do like that coin. Okay, the next item I've got to show you comes from my next door neighbour, Dave. He uh, messaged me and said, Matt, would you like these coins? And yeah, of course I said yes. Now, I actually published from the uh, Royal Mint. I believe these were issued to any Mini driver to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Mini. And there we go, we've got the little Mini car just there. And on the other side, oh, we've got the back of the Mini and dated. 2009 but yeah he gave me two of these really appreciate it and I'll be keeping these in my collection absolutely fantastic little coins and I really appreciate Dave my neighbor giving me these coins really nice to add to my collection and just stunning coins in all fairness really cool and the cards really cool as well Union Jack and the minis there as well yeah really cool I was really happy with them so thank you very much okay now the last item comes from a good friend called Jack who lives just around the corner he follows my coin collecting journey uh, and is always happy to help out if he's got bits and bobs to add towards my collection and today on the school run he popped around with this now at first I did think it was from the Royal Mint but I had to look again and it's actually from the Royal Mail. Now I've not had a good chance to um, do much research into this to find out what it is but inside we've got some beautiful pieces. Now we'll start with this which is some sort of token coin and let me uh, see if I can open this somehow to show you a little bit better. There we, there we go. So it's uh, yeah, so Royal Mail, and you've got the logo just there, and it says on the bottom, New Identity 1980, and just there, you've got a stamp, and I assume one, uh, the Queen or a reigning monarch at the time. It's just a really snazzy coin. I was, I was well chuffed to get that. So let's put this back in there. There we go, got it in one. So that's the first bit, so we've got that. And then it also came with this. So we've got the, the old 20p uh, stamp just there. And I'm not quite sure what that is. Now it says in the book just there, the penny black. Stunning, you've got the Britannia just there, a couple of horses, and just fantastic artwork basically. And it's a, it's a really nice piece, so I was really happy to, to get given this. It's always nice to receive bits and bobs towards your collection. And let's make sure this is back in there properly. Let's have a little look. So, yeah, so uh, this special miniature sheet contains a replica of the uh, Penny Black 
and one of the stamps issued in January 1990. It celebrates the 150th anniversary of the introduction of the Uniform Post and the first issue of the Penny Black Stamp on the 6th of May 1840. And then here we've got the coin has been produced to commemorate the new Royal Mail identity which has been introduced nationally from 1990. Their identity reinforces our image as a caring, customer focused business. And there we have it, so we've got the stamp, the stamp's just there, the penny black and the 20 piece stamp and the new identity coin just there. But yeah, thank you very much for that Jack, really appreciate it mate and I shall look after this in my collection, thank you very much. And that's it, that is pretty much everything that I've discovered this week. I've been absolutely overwhelmed with coins, so I do apologise if I've been a bit quiet on all my social medias, but I've just been on such a mission to try and get all this lot sorted out and into some sort of order for my collection and obviously to show all you guys at home on a video. Some of the coins are just absolutely fantastic and any of the things that I've showed you on this video, if you know anything about it, please leave me some comments in the box below. All that's left me to say, if you did enjoy this video, please leave me a like on it, it will really help me out. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already and press that notification bell and you'll always be notified when I upload new videos like this. Thank you so much for watching, for all your support and until next time I shall see you all soon for more coins. Bye!